Hey everyone, in this problem we're going to show that the graph of the function f of x equals x to the fifth plus 3x cubed plus 5x does not have a tangent line with a slope of 3. So let's go ahead and work it out. So to do this, we're going to use a proof by contradiction. So we'll start by assuming that it does have a tangent line with a slope of 3, and then we'll try to uh, reach a contradiction. So let's start by saying that. So suppose... Uh, I'll be brief. Let's just suppose it did. So what we're saying here is that suppose it does have a tangent line with a slope of 3. So then, that would mean that the derivative would be equal to 3. The reason is because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So if this function has a tangent line with a slope of 3, then there should be some value of x where the derivative is equal to 3. So we'll compute the derivative and set it equal to 3. So you can bring the 5 out front when you're taking the derivative. So you get 5x, and then you subtract 1, so you get a 4. That's the power rule. Same thing here. It'd be 9x squared. So 9x squared. And then the derivative of 5x is just 5. And this should be equal to 3 for some value of x. So for some x. All right, so now we just have to reach a contradiction. So how do we do that? Um, well, the natural thing maybe is to subtract 3 from both sides. So minus 3, minus 3. That leaves us with 5x to the fourth plus 9x squared plus 2 equals 0. And now we have to, again, reach a contradiction. So we have to show that x does not exist. Uh, so keep in mind, x is a real number. So this is a quartic equation. It's an equation of degree 4. So it has four solutions. So we have to show that all of the solutions are not real numbers. We have to show they're all complex numbers. So one way to do that, maybe, is to use the quadratic formula. So this is a quartic. So you could make a substitution first. I'll go ahead and do that. So we'll let u be equal to x squared. So if you do that, that means that u squared, well, you square both sides, you get x to the fourth. So you can rewrite this quartic equation as a quadratic equation like this, u squared plus 9u plus 2 equals 0. And now we can use the quadratic formula here. So a is 5, b is 9, and c is 2. And then we have that u is equal to, I'll write it out, it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So u is equal to, so b is 9, so we get negative 9 plus or minus the square root. So b is 9, so 9 squared is 81 minus 4, and then a is 5, so we get 5, and then c was 2. It's all over 2a, so 2 times 5. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so this is going to be equal to, now u is x squared. I'm going to go ahead and write it that way. So x squared is equal to negative 9, right, because u is the same as x squared, plus or minus the square root. And this is going to be 81, and then 4 times 5 is 20, times 2 is 40. So 81 minus 40. So 81 minus 40 is 41. And it's all over 10. So this should not make sense. Let's think about it. This is, you have two cases here. So in the first case, let's say you have x squared equals negative 9 minus the square root of 41 over 10. Well, the numerator is negative, right? So you have a negative over a positive. So this is negative. So this is less than 0. This is impossible. Right? x squared cannot be uh, less than 0, right? And if you take the square root of this, you'll get an i. Right? You'll get an i. And x here has to be a real number. So again, that's a contradiction even if you were to keep going. The other case is when x squared is equal to negative 9 plus the square root of 41 over 10. Well, again, this is impossible, and here's why. The square root of 41 is less than, say, the square root of 49, which is equal to 7. So this number here is less than 7. So if you take negative 9 and add it to a number less than 7, you're going to get a negative number. So it's negative over positive, so it's negative. So again, same deal. If you solve for x, you're going to get an i. It's not a real number, so impossible. So in any case, we have a contradiction, 
and so therefore the function does not have a tangent line with a slope of 3. So in any case, we have a contradiction. We have a contradiction. So I said a lot in words, uh, but hopefully that made sense. That's it.